Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Kino with STEM with Kino.com, and today we have another video. Today's video is for my aviation pre flight indoctrination people. So, these are people that have passed their military aptitude test, and they are looking forward to either being a student naval aviator or a student undergraduate uh, pilot training uh, applicant. Um, so that covers like the whole gamut, um, United States Navy, United States Marine Corps, United States Coast Guard, and United States Air Force. Okay, so uh, basically what we have is we have a prep course, and one of my subscribers, uh, shout out to Mr. Schwartz, uh, actually uh, requested this video. Um, so um, the API program is a prep program. Uh, the prep program, <laughs> prep program. Uh, it's a prep program that prepares you before you go to aviation pre-flight indoctrination and prepares you before you go to initial flight screening and stuff. And it basically gives you a leg up before you get there. Um, so, you know, there's less stress as far as your learning curve. It won't be as steep and stuff. And if you're already a private pilot, I still recommend that you, uh, get into it so you can just be ahead of the game and stuff and uh, you can uh, just have a much easier path to getting winged alright now so let me jump in alright this flight is actually going to originate out of Austin Bergstrom International Airport identifier is Alpha Uniform Sierra we're going to be going to where are you we're going to be picking up Victor 17 at guards intersection G A R D S. Okay, so we're gonna go and we're just gonna get ourselves positioned, but we're gonna be coming inbound on a 040 radial radial into San Antonio International Airport. All right, so we're going to uh, what I want to say. All right, um. <laughs> Okay, zero four zero. We're gonna come inbound on the uh, zero four zero radial into San Antonio. Uh, VOR uh, one sixteen point eight. There we have the Morse code. Uh, we're also going to uh, identify our nav, all our nav uh, radios and stuff. Uh, stone walls. We're we're gonna be coming through next, so we're gonna be leaving on the three three. One radio. Uh, this is Victor 358 and 358 and 568. And then after that, we're going to leave uh, Stonewall outbound on a 083 radio, and we're going to uh, come back. I'm just going to fly us over to the airport. We're not going to actually land uh, the aircraft. Uh, no need because it's just a navigation lesson, and you're just going from point A to point B. The reason why I want to do this is because you guys may be having trouble in putting in VORs and stuff. Uh, our cruising altitude is going to be 10,000 feet. Um, and so, like I said, even you can use this thing, uh, Sky Vector. Shout out to Sky Vector. You guys uh, do an awesome job with this online sectional. Um, and you can see the web address up there so you know you guys can you guys should i believe you guys should use this as often um as you can because we can uh actually uh, get weather off here and everything metars uh terminal aerodrome forecasts and everything uh so um we'll right we'll right click and we'll click plan all right and then we'll get a box there all right all right we'll go to guards We'll right click and come down to we could either click the airport the intersection or just the uh, Latin long all right so we want to put that in the plan and you can see we'll be leaving at 235 degrees 17 nautical miles all right we'll drag and we'll come down to here we'll right click again come down we want the VOR we'll put that in the plan Boom, so you see how easy that is just by right clicking and clicking on the associated uh, thing that you want to be fixed on. Stonewall VOR, we're not going to, uh, what's this, Berg Lake Arrow? That's an airport. That's an airport, that's a VOR, that's an intersection. Or we could just do the uh, latitude and longitude. Um, okay, Stonewall VOR. 
and then what we want to do is I'm just going to bring this back here. Uh, we'll go to because sometimes it gets a little funky when you're actually going right back to the return airport. So what I will do is I will set up. Uh, you know what? Let's go to Dripping Springs. All right, and then by uh, pilotage, we will bring it in. So we'll radio navigation, and then we'll use pilotage to get back. And that's pit. <coughs> Sorry, what's a compulsory reporting point? All right, which is we should see some towers. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna just click on this and boom, and that'll bring us back here. Uh, okay. All right. Okay, yeah, and then by pilotage we'll just get back to the airport and uh, we'll do our thing. Okay, so that's our route of flight, guys. Uh, we can bump the mini nav log, turn that on, and that was the button here for our flight plan. We'd actually save, file, do all this stuff. All right, so we have Austin Burks from International. We're going to Guards, which is right there. We're going to San Antonio VOR, which is kind of at the bottom of this V. We're going to come up, and ooh, didn't want to do that. I don't want to mess with that. Okay, let's drag it back. Okay. I was just trying to drag the map, guys. All right, and back to Stonewall uh, 113.8. San Antonio is 116.8. Stonewall is 113.8. And we're going to leave on a 084 radial. And uh, we will do that. So um, I'm not going to do the engine start. There's another video on the engine start. You can specifically go through the engine start. Uh, for that this will just be a uh, navigation uh, this is just this will just be a navigation video um, so see you guys on the other side bye Okay, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Kino, Kino with STEM with Kino.com. Today, uh, we are going into our navigation lesson. Now, um, we if you want to go through the whole startup procedure, there's another video that we can do. But initially, when we set this flight up, um, basically, it's going to have the flight management system already set up. All right. I can see that because, as per our briefing, we can see guards intersection in here. 17 uh, nautical miles and we have our uh, uh, it's we're pointed to it and everything um, so we don't want that we're going to hit the nav button and you can see it's an FMS going to guards we don't want that we want to navigate by hand all right so we want to be in VOR mode all right, now, um, San Antonio VOR is 116.8. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the nav tune. All right, and I'm going to come in here with the arrow, and then we're going to get our floating cursor. And what I want in here is 116.8. So 1, 1, 6, 1, 6, 8, 0. All right, so the f whole frequency is in there. We'll hit enter. All right, and 116.8 is set. Okay, we are on the heads-up display in VOR, VOR mode. Um, so uh, just uh, one more thing that I want to do is... Um, bu 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 and, yeah, it will jump back for your uh, communications. Um and now, but we have 116.8. We have our uh, transponder squawking 1200 on standby. Um, what else do I want to do? Let's look down, glance down. 
and go to our hold on I wonder if we can let's see cockpit left multifunction display there we go all right so 116.8 is in a VOR we don't have any distance information so we could because we haven't picked it up yet but when we do pick it up we're going to get a ETA um, the flight management system needle is pointing to about 235 or so so that will always be in play our VOR is set uh, to 168 and the VOR is kind of pointed southbound we don't have any information there so it's really really important to get familiarized with this panel alright so 116.8 is in the VOR uh, our source for navigation is the VOR we can flip to FMS if we wanted to all that stuff but this lets you know that this needle is the VOR and this is the FMS all right, and these are the heads of the needles. Okay, so the head of the needle is pointed this way. You can see the tail. The head of the needle is here, around two, three, five, and this is the tail of that needle. All right, so um, what I want to do is I want to see if I cannot rotate the. Uh, I'm trying to put this in an HSI mode. Let me just uh, play around with this. Okay, and we still. Okay, let me see. Off. Okay, yeah, there's our needle. Okay, so this is always going to be FMS. Um, but basically what I want to do is we want to hit... Uh, Shift V as a Victor. Shift V and see if I can't rotate okay I see the middle one rotating okay so this is where it's happening we do have information here but this is actually where it's happening so we'll go to cockpit and we go to center multifunction display and um, I have I hit shift V uh -oh. alright make sure you I guess we have to hit it again and that's okay so we'll tighten up because this is messing with the view and I'm going to hit shift V again and then I'm going to manipulate the VOR needle All right. now be careful because now it seems like okay we went about two three five and then we'll make our adjustments as we uh, eh, 230 we'll use 230 Okay, so that's north there, south is there, 230 southwest of Lee Now what's crazy is now this information, this panel saying that this is the VOR and okay. <coughs> it's probably a, a backup VOR as per this panel. Okay. So uh Alright, let's go do it. We got uh one sixteen point eight set up in the um We are, and so we're going to fly southwesterly, and then we'll pick it up, fly direct San Antonio, VOR, then Stonewall, and then back. So here we go. Let's see where we are. Uh, outside, top down. Okay. Okay, I guess this is the closest runway here, 17 left which will point us southbound so we'll go ahead we'll exit uh, the ramp here we'll make a left turn come out here and on our second left come down to 17 left and we'll just go ahead and depart alright back into our cockpit and we have enough turning room so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna release the brakes I'm going to bump the power up a little bit and we're going to step on the brakes brake test is good brakes check now if you don't want to lose
your orientation. You can do all this in top down, outside, top down view. But you guys saw we would come out on this taxiway that was directly behind us. We make a left and then we make two more lefts. Our rudder's a little squirrely, that's okay. So our second left is where we want to uh, make our turn. We're currently on Taxiway Golf. Again, you can come to an outside view if you like. Uh, we can go to lock spot and hit the keypad arrows. Right click outside lock spot and then we can bring this around bring this up and then minus to step back we're in our view but here's our second left turn And this will bring us to 17 left. We'll go to our our, um, out, our top down view, which is more like a bird's eye or map view. And we can see that we're going to do what we said we're going to do. So we'll go to that view, right clicking, outside, top down. All right, so this is exactly where we want it to be. Um, you, can, you guys can do the uh, pre-takeoff um, or run up check on your own but we are approaching 17 left so we are going to turn our lights on and do our thing here and this is pretty cool because if one guy's like doing a run-up or something like that or pre-takeoff check they can position here and other aircraft can get around and be clear for takeoff as well Like I said, this is not the best simulator, but it is the best that I found during my research. So we're at Bravo now, 17 left. Okay, and we are holding. Now this guy's got the ILS uh, hold short. That's pretty neat. All right, we've got a park and brake on. And really all I want is our lights, okay? We're going to make a right turn on departure. And um, anything else I failed to mention? Can't think of it right now. Let's turn some lights on now. Okay, we don't want to touch that. Uh, what we do want to do is adjust the trim. And you may have a different stick and whatever your trim. Whatever your trim buttons are. You can use the keypad if you like, but you can see the nose coming up. I like to be somewhere just slightly, well, a little bit above the green. Maybe like the half in the halfway between the green and the first tick mark. Uh, as observed there. As long as I'm above that green, I normally don't need a whole lot of back pressure. Alright, so what we're going to do is I bumped the flap button by um, okay, there it is. Okay, so our flaps are set for takeoff. Lights are on, icing, not needed, flap set, transponder. We're not going to deal with that. This is just sim world. And um, let's see if we can find San Antonio VOR. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go. Brakes are released and we are in class Charlie airspace. So we definitely would have to talk to the tower before departure. Okay. Alright, let's look left. There's no approaching aircraft. Now again, the rudders are a little bit squirrely. 
on here, but um, the procedure, I'm more concerned about the procedure. Okay, so we got a halfway decent line up there. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to rotate about 80 and climb out at 40. 80 knots rotation. See, and it's that trim really plays a big part. Altitude. Altitude. Okay, positive rate gear up, looking for 140. And pitching. Okay, let's start our turn. And we're looking for 10,000 feet. And you don't need a whole lot of uh, stick pressure on there. You want to be really, really gentle. Nice and easy. Nice, gentle turn. Okay, we picked up our VOR, 51 uh, miles out now. We're going to roll, <laughs> attempt to roll out. All right, nice and easy. Real gentle. So we will roll out about uh, two, three, zero, like two, two, five, two, three, zero. I want this thing to center up some, so. Um, Real nice, gentle stick inputs this is all you need. The real airplanes like this. And like I said, um, this is the best we have in sim world. And if you guys uh, find something new, please let me know about it. But um, Eight thousand for ten thousand. This thing climbs like a beast. <laughs> and we're gonna shallow out our ascent. Shift two. All right, master on and altitude hold. So Should be settling down, and we'll go ahead and we'll adjust our power. All right, that'll settle down. We'll go to our array panel, and uh, right MFD. All right, we're going to pull our power back to about. Pull back a little bit. And I want around 80-ish. In between 80 and 90 is decent. But um, 
I'd like to see 90. Okay, we'll go with 90. back to our shift two Okay, so we're looking pretty good. Uh, we are 36 uh, miles out. Um, I would like to come down to our center multifunction display. All right, and I'd like to play with this heading bug a little bit. The heading bug is right there in pink. Okay, so in order to operate the heading bug, we're going to hit Control Shift H as in hotel, and then the plus and minus key should help you rotate it around. And you can see the actual heading that you want set in there. So I'm going to drag this slightly to the left a little bit because I want to just take care of that and what I will do is I will go back to actually I don't even need to do that I can do it right from this panel shift 2 and heading hold alright close so what it did was it went on our initial heading so we control shift hotel and then we'll drag it to Two one about two one zero, and just go ahead and level out there. Okay, so when the course deviation indicator is centered, then we're pretty much on the mark there. And at this point, I can just start bringing it back because I see the correction taking place and then I don't need as much correction in there. Uh, try not to double click the keys because when you kind of click too much, what's going to happen is it's going to go a little bit too far. Again, we have a course deviation indicator here on our center uh, multifunction display. Uh, we have our airspeed, we have our altitude 10,600. Um, we just overshot a little bit, so let's get our head back outside for a minute. 22 miles. You also have a course deviation indicator here as well. Um, so we're going to set up Stonewall in a minute and all we have to do is just bump this. Alright, and I'm going to bump it again. But 116.8 is um, set. I'm going to hit RTN. Should want to return, so let's click something else, maybe to go away. All right. Oh, also, I forgot to ID this thing. All right. 
see if we can uh, access that panel. Cockpit, center. Uh, it looks like the stick is in the way. Okay, let's see if we can get it from the right side, and we won't make that big a deal about it. Okay, we have some more buttons exposed, and I believe if we go to the left one, there we go. Nav, look at that. Up, 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 up. Let it ring one more time. Okay. All right, and we'll hit this button here. We access it from the left multifunction display. So we'll press that until it pops out, and we're good to go there. Head back outside the cockpit. All right. Okay, we're 11.9 away. And ten point eight now, ten point eight, ten point six. We're gonna eat up that distance really, really quick. Now, I did uh, probably have my head down in the cockpit a little bit longer um, than I should have, but um, I can see San Antonio Airport right there. Okay, so we are where we need to be. 8.8, um, .8, you can see we were just like at 10 miles. We ate up that. And this is with a 90. 90% torque sighting. Now we are running through fuel like crazy, I might add. Our departure fuel was 8.98. And according to this, we're at 7.34. So we've burnt off about 200 pounds so far. But that is San Antonio. Uh, this is the city of San Antonio, Texas. So we are definitely where we need to be. Stonewall is going to be our next uh, VOR, which is 113.8. We should pick it up pretty good, and we're going to come um, inbound well, 331. So what I will do now is I will start setting that up since we're pretty much here at San Antonio. Um, so we will go to our central MFD and in our course selector and that is control shift I'm sorry just shift V and then the plus sign so we want to come inbound on 331 is the heading um, or the radial that we want to come in on and you can see the course selector I'll show you in a minute 331 another cool thing is that our our flight management system is telling us, hey, we're about to get station passage. All right. And so we're going to overfly it just a little bit, just for the sake of uh, navigation. All right. So we're sliding through it. Come back to virtual cockpit. Go to our upfront control panel. Stonewall's 113.8. We'll come here. One, one, three. You don't hit a decimal, just eight, zero. Okay, you're going to enter 113.8. We are 37.6 from the VOR. We'll come back down. And our heading bug, Control Shift H. And what we will do is we will turn our heading bug. and go past it a little bit so we can intercept and get the course deviation indicator to settle. 
the aircraft is to the left of the desired course and we set our course and the miniature airplane is to the left of this and you'll you'll see it um, if you have any um, experience with VORs you know what I mean and you can come to a live stream if uh, you need further clarification um, cool thing about the FMS is it's like kind of pointing so we want to be past that in order for correction to take place and we're gonna eat that time we're gonna eat that distance up um, really really quick and get that correction back box there that's hey that's where you need to be buddy <laughs> oh that's pretty neat I didn't even notice if that even popped up on the uh, San Antonio so we can completely just kind of keep our our head outside and look around for traffic at San Antonio International right there Twenty six and a half to the VOR now. I got to do something about this paint getting U.S. Navy and um, uh, United States Air Force markings. That's my next little project. Okay, our coast deviation needle set up, center and back up. Control shift H is in hotel. miles we're gonna eat that up very very quickly and we want to leave outbound on the 084 radio and I'm just making slight adjustments with the heading bug We will know we have station passage when the um, FMS needle kind of flips around us from front to rear, the head. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do, I'm going to execute a left turn to kind of bring us off and then uh, try to rejoin the zero, re, try to uh, reestablish myself on the uh, 0A3 radio. 
All right, 16 miles out now. 16 miles out. Always checking the fuel. Right MFD. We're at 550 pounds of fuel at this point. One nine miles out. Eight point six from the VOR, and we have to understand that this is slant range. Slant range. I'll talk about that in another video. Okay, 3.2, probably virtually sitting right over on top of the VOR, because um, we're at 10,000 feet, and we see that the, the FMS is showing that the uh, nav aid is uh, sliding off to the left there. Okay, for, so for me that's station passage and what I'm going to do is we're going to execute a left turn to about 083 and then what we're going to do is while we're doing that we're going to go ahead and hit shift V and the minus key actually uh, the plus key it's easier and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put 083 in the course selector so we're executing the left turn we're gonna go to the center MFD and let's see here Tighten it up, shift V, hit 083. So we have 083 here in the course selector, and we're going to keep bringing our turn around to try to join the 083 radial.
Okay, we have 083 set in the, on the heading bug. So the aircraft is going to continue turning. All right, we're kind of passing through. So that means we're going to be south of our desired uh, course. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a little bit more correction. We'll put in 073, about 10 degrees of correction. And that should get us back on. So at this point we've flown uh, direct to San Antonio VOR in Stonewall. We're leaving Stonewall on the 083 radial. And back to Austin. Okay, we're about to level out. Rolling uh, wings level on zero eight on heading zero eight three or no no zero seven three sorry I like that little box there <laughs> and the head up display I mean I know I'm going down to the panels in the tutorial but the head up display is it, it just gives us pertinent information. We don't need to constantly be looking down um, at the panel. Once you guys get familiarized with this, um, you won't really need to look down at the panel. We have uh, 113.8, which is Stonewall VOR's uh, uh, information. Um, we have our comm radios. We have our transponder. You know, um, your altitude, speed, heading information. Um, which is just it's just beautiful so we can concentrate on looking outside for other airplanes and we have our distance uh, information so it's getting bigger 5.9 6 miles 6.1 actually and so this is telling us that we are flying away from the station. Okay, 557 pounds of fuel. Our needles are in the green. ITT is not redlining. Thirteen point four away from the station. Now, as we as this needle starts to come back, we don't need ten degrees of correction. So maybe I will bring it down to zero seven, bring it back to. Uh, let's give it zero eight, 
zero. And as fast as we're going, uh, I'll go ahead and put in zero eight three. We can see here our course deviation is centering up real nice. Slightly to the left a little bit. Um, but we zero eight our heading zero eight three. Of course, uh, the radial we have set is zero eight three. All right, heads back up. And I'll put in 0 a5 because the needles drifted slightly to the right a little bit just small corrections all you need once you get yourself established you just need to make small corrections to get that needle to stabilize twenty six miles away from the VOR already now we are guzzling fuel. We had about 900 pounds on board. Okay, there's a Cessna out there at uh, around uh, 3,200 feet. He's descending. He was at 32, and now he's at 31 something, so he is descending. Or she. So, at around about 53 or 54 nautical miles away from the station or so, we should be back at Austin, and we'll close it there. So, again, you have your, your comm frequencies and then you have your nav frequency you hit this button you enter in with the keys your frequency there's no need to uh, use a decimal but we put in 113.8 um, if we wanted to enter in another frequency it's going to be the same one it's just one one three eight zero and you hit enter all right, the, the cursor uh, should stop flashing. And then you can set up your course information. When we actually want to set up the radio, we want to fly to or from, we will hit Shift V. That will rotate the course selector. All right, and the heading bug is um, Control Shift H as in hotel and this pink heading bug will float left to right with the plus or minus keys so both when you shift V the omni bearing selector will move left to right using the plus or minus keys on the keyboard and when you um, hit um, sh uh, control shift H that will actually move the heading bug left to right using the plus or minus keys so that's really basically about it uh, 40 miles out we got a city out here looking at my sectional chart that's probably Lakeway Airport is probably out there somewhere because um, we're gonna eat up 50 miles in a minute here very soon also, uh, we have a 
waterway. I'm looking for that. I do see a waterway, so I do believe that's Austin. Um, let's go to our outside view and lock spot. 44 miles away from the VOR. Okay, so that's pretty much Austin uh, Bergstrom right there. Until we get over it. Okay. There's the north and south runways. We actually departed off of 17 left, which is that runway right there. 17 left. We actually, we started right here at this little uh, ramp area here. We taxi, we left, left, the second left here, and we actually departed off of this runway right here. So we have made it back home. Okay, so, um... That's pretty much the video. Uh, Mr. Schwartz, I hope you liked the video. Um, I hope you're able to input any VRR frequency you want uh, from now on. Um, let me see if I can't. be really cool if I can see the runway numbers. Yep, 17 right. This is where we originated. We exited made the second left then right and there's 17 left the actual runway that we actually departed off of okay so this is Kino with stem with Kino.com um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um, everybody in my API course keep reading keep studying hard you guys have a long way to go to get winged and I'm here to help you do it um, again every Friday night you can catch me on YouTube um, for the military aptitude and FAA test prep. So, um, you know, until next time, guys, the next video, um, I'll see you guys and let's go out with a flyby. Another successful video. See you guys later.